Good morning, people. I'm really not a very happy person at the moment. I was doing just fine sitting in front of my computer watching silly videos, feeling sorry for myself and my crummy job at the moment, but somebody kept bugging me, kept standing on my chair and tugging at me to go outside. So we're out here hiking. This is why you buy a dog. So that he can go out and have fun and you can be miserable following him around. Actually, this is where we are. The Thurman Chatham Game Lands. Um, and this is next to Stone Mountain State Park. And this is Game Lands. All this is all Game Lands on this map. And up above, this is the Blue Ridge Parkway. You can see that. And uh, we have been here before. This is the Downton Park area, and we have a good time uh, hiking around that because that's National Park. And so during the uh, hunting season, it's a good place to come. But right now, this is game lands, and nobody really knows that game lands are good places to hike. So we're out uh, kind of enjoying it all by ourselves. So he can run around off leash. Um, Right at the moment, the game lands are closed to vehicles and camping because it's not game season. However, um, they're open to hiking and there is a parking area here for us to enjoy. Anyway, so we're gonna go hiking. I don't know if this will be long or short. This is a absolutely impromptu uh, adventure and it just poured rain for about five minutes. So we're breaking ground on <laughs> wet, brush and stuff so we're going to try to stay in the uh in the road here and see where it goes we're doing some new stuff with uh, maps and compasses and all sorts of things to try to do a video on navigation but uh we'll see how that goes today so stay tuned we'll be right back well i was hoping to stay on the trail but on the main road but this just looked too interesting so we're gonna check this out here <laughs> looks like they fell this because they couldn't put up a gate <laughs> I'm not really sure how they decide what's game lands and what's not but the game lands really have some beautiful stuff. There's a little waterfalls down there and the river, the stream, whatever, goes up through the valley, up through there. And there's a beautiful waterfalls up there. Hopefully we'll get to, but I think we're going up too fast. There's something up there here he wanted to show me. I don't know what it is, but we'll take a look. Oh, he wanted me to see this. <laughs> it's like a tree across the, the path. That tree didn't have much chance. <laughs> you know, Aquila's a pretty unique dog in that he comes back to me for things he's not um, been real positive on in the past. There are times he just, he just surprises me. He'll see an animal, he'll come back and He's been trained when he sees a person. I, I don't know why I had this on. It's hot. But um, I bought this uh, 
at our, on our last video there, one of the stores had, I stopped at the stores in Damascus, Virginia, and I needed a souvenir, so I bought a bandana. I like to wear a wet bandana in the hot summer hiking. A, it keeps the bugs off your neck, the uh, pine needles and things like that off your neck. You got a small tree here. Look at that tongue. Look at that tongue. Ow! He beat me with this stick. <laughs> He's happy. We're out here to make sure he's happy. And in case you're wondering what's wrong with me, that I'm wearing this shirt. Um, I don't ever wear insect repellent. Um, I have worn an insect repellent in the past that is a homemade uh, organic stuff. It's made from pine tar, pennyroyal oil, citronella, oil of uh, tree tea and something else. And it works really well after you've worn it for a couple hours, actually. It doesn't work as good in the beginning. And then it works really well. But um, instead of doing that, I just wear a long sleeve shirt and it, it absorbs the sweat that's running down my arms anyways. So it's actually more comfortable. It does feel a little clingy, sticky, but so does the sweat running down your arms. So I, uh, I wear a shirt um, over my t-shirt. And that's why, just to get out of wearing insect repellent. We're quite a ways in on this road. Um, you can see there's trees that have been moved out of the way, so the road is a good road. I don't know if they use this road. We'll have to come up here during hunting season and see if we can drive these roads. These are, look like fun four-wheel drive roads. But uh, it continues on, and the woods are maintaining themselves the way we like it. Oh, look at that little waterfall. Okay, go on. Go, get a drink. He's not sure how he's going to get down there to get a drink, but he's going. <laughs> he wants a drink. Where'd he go? He's over there. And you know, all that oxygenating of the water through all this sand and vegetation, it's just purifying the life out of it. So I didn't I don't I don't carry water when we go on these hikes. Mainly because they're not gonna be more than two or three hours, and I believe I can survive two or three hours without water. <laughs> I have water in the car. But um, I would have no problem drinking out of that stream. And here we came up to the main road, I guess. So I guess we'll go back to following. Well, we're coming to an opening and uh, openings have beautiful flowers. Uh, look at all those lilies. I don't remember. Oh, look what we have here. <laughs> you gotta be careful of reptiles when you're hiking in the woods. A cute little box turtle. Look at him, isn't he cute? Hello, buddy. He says, I'm not coming out to talk to you. That's uh, one kind of wildlife that Aquila can't scare away, or at least can't get away. It looks like he's got a trail going way into the woods, into the, into the bushes there. <laughs> I wonder if he lives up there. Well, this open field certainly has an awful lot of flowers in it. We've got, uh, well, they're not flowering, but we've got 
um, thistles, and we've got asters, we've got black-eyed Susans, we've got um, Queen Anne's lace. Lots of beautiful pictures. We'll put better pictures at the end, of course, like we usually do if you're interested in the flowers, but it's a beautiful, beautiful meadow. Tons and tons of flowers. And you know, this is natural wildflowers, I guess. I mean, nobody planted them here. It's what happens if you leave the earth alone. Now up there, they've got a, a cut, clear cut, not really a clear cut, but somebody's clearing it out. I don't know why. I mean, this is game lands, although maybe somebody owns that piece of property in the middle. Somebody mowed over here. I don't understand why, why you'd mow anything out here. But, um, I brought the iPad with me today and uh, I'm trying out a whole bunch of different applications. Uh, and this is where we're parked, way down here. And we've walked all the way up here. You see the little blue dot. When I hit the little thing down at the bottom down here, it shows me where I am, puts me in the middle of the screen. Um, I think we're gonna try to walk this whole trail all the way around and back. I don't know how far it is, but I don't imagine it's more than about five or six miles. But I've got about six of these different things. What is this? Yes, this is a Venza. And we're using the North Carolina Gazetteer. And every page of the Gazetteer is in here as a different mask. And there's other maps. You can buy maps and, and take them. But the other map that I've got, of course, is uh, Gaia GPS, which is very, uh, very popular with the uh, overlanding and YouTube groups. I don't like it as much, um, you know, you can squeeze in the map and kind of show you where you are, but it loses a lot of definition. When I look at this map, I can't find the roads. I don't know where to turn like it's, we were, we came in on this main road and they're just smaller. I don't like it as much. But um, and there's there's other maps, there's other map programs. These are all map programs. Um, this is uh, Relive. Relive. And if you run this while you're hiking, it shows you your track. In fact, it runs your track for people watching your videos. If you ever watch uh, Kiefer Hikes, his uh, videos always end with his maps, and it's a pretty neat thing. There's uh, Topo Maps USA, and this does pretty much the same thing. These are all the Topo Maps. And this is where we were gonna go, but now we're way over here. So all of them, all of them will find where you are and tell you where you're gone. Why aren't you moving? You don't want to move? Some of them have to be cellular. Um, I don't have cellular on this iPad. See, it's bringing in the maps. Get rid of that. There we go. So there, now we're in the middle. That's where I am. This is, this is just a uh, U.S. Geographical Topo Map, which doesn't have a lot of detail on it. Gaia has a little more detail on it, but um, I really like Avenza better because you pick the map you really like. All right, so that's where we are and that's where we're going. Let's go back to Avenza. And North Carolina Atlas. And I think we're on 14. Push the little thing and it takes me there. I, I mean, you know, you can blow it up. The nice thing I like about this is that all the stuff gets bigger when you blow it up. Google Maps is awful because as you blow it up, everything gets smaller. It shrinks it down so everything stays the same size. You can't blow anything up. You just make the map cover more area. It's kind of dumb in my opinion. This is for my subscribers who are not in North Carolina. This is something that just blew my mind. Um, I see this all around North Carolina. This is bamboo and it gets quite large. Uh, although it's a type of bamboo that normally isn't very large, but you'll see these bamboo stands in the woods, in the wild. <laughs> 
And it's not because anybody brought them here, they're normal, they're natural. Um, around along the stream beds and the rivers, you, you'll see bamboo stands, which is pretty neat. They're not the type of bamboo you could use for construction. Like, I guess that's another type, that monster giant bamboo that they use for building houses and things like that. But pretty neat bamboo uh, fly rods, maybe. How about that? Now, again, I do this just for the strange things I find. And here we are in the middle of this this woods. I mean, there's really nothing around here. It doesn't look hospitable for for farming or anything like that. It's all pretty sloped and steep and wild. And But then all of a sudden there's this. What the heck is this? <laughs> a very neat pile of rocks. Looks like it was probably a fireplace or something. But who knows? It's just cool. It's just living history. Maybe someday I'll find a ghost out in one of these pieces. And you see these things everywhere now. <laughs> Usually you see them along the roads, but um, I wish they'd put some information on them. Why, why they're here. Somebody gets shot hunting or suicide or somebody just had a heart attack. Who knows? First I thought it was somebody spilled their orange sherbet, but I guess it's just mushrooms. <laughs> Quite a patch. <sighs> well, we came to a U-turn in the road and in this direction, there's another road. And I think we're gonna take that one because it's not on the map. <laughs> I wanna see where it goes on the map. So we're gonna take that one. <laughs> Wish me luck. This is rock. Don't you wonder what it took to bend that rock like that? <laughs> to, to compress it into those shapes? It's just pretty cool. Look at that, it's all rock. This valley is just so beautiful. It's just uh, rock outcroppings and, and waterfalls and everything. That's a cave there. That's another cave over here. Beautiful rock outcroppings over here. And of course, the beauty of the waterfalls. Awesome. Well, folks, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's always nice when you see a little wildlife on the video. And uh, um, we saw a little this time, so this was great. Have to check and see if those are endangered in this, any way. Uh, but it's getting dark and it's raining on and off. So we're gonna put the camera away and call it a quits to get back to the car. And hopefully we'll get in maybe six miles, I think at least. But anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, down, down below and uh, leave a comment. All right, Akila and I will see you next week. Thanks.